A photograph is a moment in time, a split second. A split second of the 300 seconds of this talk, over 300 possible outcomes. It's what you do with that split second that counts. In the blink of an eye, magic happens. Life begins and ends. Think different, as one great innovator, Steve Jobs, said. Are we looking at the whole picture? What are we missing by not seeing the beauty right in front of us? The top image is what the camera saw. The bottom image is what I saw. You need to look deeper. Years ago, I worked at a commercial studio in White Plains. The photographer did a series of pictures for the lobby that he shot from a moving car. They were shot on slide film, reverse processed as a negative, and printed. They were really cool. I was inspired. For him, it was just an effect. For me, it was an artistic revelation and then an addiction. I have been doing it ever since. Learning, I shot thousands of images that were just trash. It took years to perfect the style with film since there were so many variables. Lucky for me at the time, I owned a photo lab and I could see the results quickly. It was like opening a present each time and I can change the technique based on my results. Digital cameras gave me what I needed, instant gratification. I like instant gratification. Now I was able to see the trash I shot much quicker, and I shot a lot more trash. But man, did I start getting some real winners. With digital, I was able to control my settings much more, see my shot, adjust, reshoot right away, and learn with each try. More trees were flying by, more images, less trash. I started experimenting with more options. I don't look through the camera. Let that sink in for a moment. I just aim in the general direction and shoot. It's like total magic. Like capturing lightning in a bottle. When we are born, we are taught a specific way to do things. We are taught how to walk, how to talk, and how to take care of ourselves. Color inside the lines and conform. In school, we're taught the basics. Follow the rules, and this is how you do it. Stay in line. Then we grow up and we start breaking the rules, some more than others. This is what makes us unique. As an artist, we're taught to use the tools, how to draw a straight line. But it's important to have a thorough understanding of these rules in order to break them. You need to understand what you need to break. As a commercial photographer, everything I did had to be perfect. I used all the right tools, I got my lights and reflections right, my lines were straight, and my colors were correct, at least until I started breaking those rules as well. In fine art, though, there are no rules. The rules are meant to be broken. In life, we have to follow the law, but the rules for us are meant to be changed, bent to our life's path. Let's get back to the art you see here. Obviously, I'm no longer looking at trees the same way, or in this case, headlights. I'm always looking for the magic, patterns, and now I'm not throwing away the trash. Some of my best images are from what I once thought had no value. Some of what we do in everyday life is done as though there is no value. What are we throwing away? I threw away a lot of gems through the years until I started to look differently at my work. It's not what you see, it is what you believe. You need to look beyond your first impression, look through the haze, find the beauty. Someone on Facebook is always reminding us of that. Are you only taking what you see at face value? Try looking at it from a different angle. Shine a new light on it. Find a new way to view it, and your head will begin to wrap around it. Remember, think different. In the real world, there is no straight line. Bend some rules. Make your vision become reality. Find something that is you. What is really trash? Bend some rules. We need to learn the basic building blocks, but we need to think outside the box. Are we throwing away our best ideas? We need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There is no straight line to your answer. 